Good morning everyone and welcome back to the Two-Headed Wolf Gaming Channel as we are continuing our campaign through Phoenix Point, approaching the end of the game. And what we're going to do right now, well, we have one of the Tiamats heading on to this mission, which we had for a while, the Rise by Scene by Virtue Fall. And we will see what we get out of it. Maybe we trigger more events going forward. We have a few ships around as we are trying to... As we are trying to set up, try to explore, get a few more resources if we can. We have quite a lot of mutagen, which makes me happy. I should take a look and see who we can upgrade. Maybe we can mutate someone with new upgrades. We know that it is instant, so it should pay off for us. Over here, we finished our research for the Terror Sentinel. Field analysis has shown that the Sentinels are in fact an amalgamation of mutated plants and humans merged into a single entity. Attempts to separate the humanoid individuals from the plant stem or each other have resulted in failure causing the death of the respective entity. Whoever those people were before, they ceased to be human long ago. Careful examination of the sentinel's heads has revealed enhanced vocal and brain development allowing for the specimen's shriek attack. Changes in the cerebellum indicate that the shrieks also affect living creatures on a neurological level. Cool. They detect even mechanical entities, that is good to know. Well, 15 extra damage to them, that is nothing to bat an eye at. Eye at. Bat an eye at. Sure. Now, let's see, what will I do with this one? Now, I was thinking that I would get this ship over here, mostly because I can take this smaller one and move it down, right? Move it over here, leave the priest behind. Probably that's the plan. You will go there and finally we'll leave you to explore this site. Our operatives have discovered the Grand Temple of the Pan-Cosmic Ostara, a compound belonging to the nature-worshipping cult that arose in the late 2010s. It's hard to tell whether the compound is occupied, as the cultists rejected electricity as a natural, as an unnatural and refused to perform any repairs on buildings they owned. The compound houses over 100 beds, and there is a decayed corpse in every one of them each with a plastic bag wrapped around its head to symbolize ecological disaster. Ooh, that's a bit radical. It seems the Ostarans followed through on their belief that humanity was a virus by committing mass suicide. There is nothing of any value here. It's a bit... I, I personally feel that you shouldn't be in any kind of extremes. Decisions made in the extremes are really weird. The Tiamat 4 has discovered an old factory that seems to have temporarily been used as the headquarters of a military reckon unit of some kind. What's happened to them is unclear, but they've left behind a wealth of information, so we received two scavenging sites. I have another priest here, let's, let's take a look here. It's a level 5 one. Mind control, in this panic, mind sense. I mean, I would prefer to have this one in the team except instead of that one. Okay, well, then we'll just move you here and we'll explore. In his essays, my great grandfather recounts the story of the ill fated Chinling Bashan expedition of 1915 and the journal of Lei Meng, the leader of the mission, who found evidence of a forgotten proto civilization deep below the ground. There is also mention of James Dawson, a British photographer who stole most of the precious samples recovered by the team. What became of Dawson has always been a mystery. But now I know the mundane truth. He died here in the mountains, forgotten and alone. This proto-civilization, could it hold the key to defeating the Pandora virus? They say history repeats itself. Has all of this happened before? Pum pum pum. Thanks to our investigation of Random Science the Third, we have now gathered sufficient information to initiate a study of the Pandora virus. 
I think there was another message there, but I clicked through it. The cave contains the corpses of a Caucasian male. It is hard to identify at first as it is overgrown with yellow, sickly looking leaves sprouting from the shriveled skin. The backpack on the floor contains faded photographs and broken specimen jars. Syme seems to have taken what he needed, but even what remains is enough to revolutionize our understanding of this planet's biology history. Our analysis of the leaves growing from the body show that the organism contains traces of the Pandora virus, but a different, older strain. The implication of the discovery warrants further study. Okay, so we have a new research now? Yes, we do. Missionary Center technology is done in a day. We can research the Pandoran spawnery, which would inflict 20% extra damage to spawneries, which is really important pandora virus this is something that we could research project glory investigate hints at, at the past connection between randolph Symes and tobias west specifically specifically a common endeavor codenamed project glory i do not know it, it feels like so many good things but i do not know what to research first we can work on this, it would take us only 3 days, which means that they can start researching something else for a while. We'll do Project Glory next, because it's only 2 hours, and Pandora Virus after that. Project Glory, Missionary and we'll have the shotgun at the end. I'll bring this one here as well, because you might get some events. It's important to have this research because you might get certain events that give you research and you need to have them queued up in order to use the research points. Okay, so that was just a random event there. Destroy a Pandoran Citadel and completely research on the Pandora virus. I almost feel like it's a good idea to activate a base either there or here. Right, because this area is almost destroyed, but there's a lot of red within it. So let's, let me do this, let's see. It doesn't say that I could activate any. This is our too much resources. This would... Oh! Why doesn't it say that I could activate this one? Oh no, it's 720 resources. Okay, got it. And then with you... Do I want to scavenge? It is a good idea. Do I have enough tech? I don't really have tech either. Probably the best idea is to come here and trade some resources with you. I guess we'll have to recruit this one. And I'm gonna bring it in memorial in the memorial base. Okay, what do I do next from here? Let's go to this point. Word has reached me that the disciples of Anu have begun training missionaries in an effort to convert more people before the liturgy of the divine flesh. While New Jericho supports religious freedom, we hold that religion is a private matter. When religion becomes a tool of the state, dogma becomes a weapon, and grasping for the minds of our people becomes an act of war. So what do we do here? The Phoenix Project condemns proletization on principle, the cult of the exalted is dangerous and should not be allowed to spread, the disciples have the right to spread their beliefs, the truth of the exalted must be spread at any cost. We'll go extremism here. Truth. Unsubstantiated claims and appeals to authority are not truth. They are surrender to the darkest, most primitive human instincts. 
Blind faith is what got us here in the first place. So you can see how certain events, depending on how you play them, you can balance out their their power. Like at this point, we've made them aggressive to each other. Just by the way we answer certain questions. This is getting out of hand, Randolph. I won't stop my proto-civilization research, so tell the committee to back off. You're the director now. Please, help me. I need your support. This is not just some crackpot theory invented by your grandfather. The anomalous artifacts, the extraordinary technology predating Samaria by millennia. If you can't restart my project, I will go to the Vanandium Corporation. There's been another attack, Tobias. The excavation team is scared, and they aren't the only ones. What if the Pandorans know what we're doing and are trying to stop it? They aren't just brainless flesh puppets. I'm heading back to the lab. Be there. We need to discuss this in person. You're making a mistake, Colonel. The last Pandoran attacks were not an accident. They're targeting everyone related to Project Glory. Locking me in an isolation facility won't change a thing! I can't wait. No! Hmm, how very interesting. Project Glory was a secretive attempt to study the nature of the enigmatic ruins that predate Homo sapiens. Funded by the Phoenix Projects and Vanadium, Vanadium Inc., it was led by the visionary archaeology Dr. Helena Diwondowski. As often happens, the, pro the Phoenix Project and Vanadium Inc. had a fallout. It appears Tobias West used force to apprehend Helena. Okay. She was considered to be the world's former scientific of scientist of prehistoric archaeology. We have located her whereabouts at a secretive New Jericho facility and we have reasons to believe she's held there against her will. Still? What year are we at? Perhaps she will join us when free. 2040, it's been seven years she's been, when, since she's been locked up. Okay, well, you continue over there. This is from the research we just got there. Temple of Eanna. The Exalted has requested the construction of a new temple, designed to prepare her for the arrival of the dead god and for the act of transformation she calls the Liturgy of Divine Flesh. Once this has been achieved, she will share the secret with us. 19 days to do that, 2 days to do it together. Let's do the shotgun advancement first and then we are doing the temple. So this will bring us closer, I feel, to victory. Okay, we have a slam strike shotgun, which is a phoenix shotgun actually. 120 damage and 140 shock. Well, what is our damage like? This For this one, 35. Oh, that sounds like a powerful weapon. Let's see. How many... How much ammo does this have? Like, is it a one-shot type of weapon or what? Ammo capacity. It has a four ammo capacity. And it's single-shot. I feel like I should try it out. So let's invest some points in that direction. Okay, we'll sell some food for materials. Not the best exchange rate if I ever seen it, but should do for now. An exploration site, we're going there. The Manticore 1 has encountered a weather anomaly. On an otherwise clear day, a tornado that appears to consist of some kind of greenish gas is raging across the countryside. 
Such anomalous phenomena are the result of the planet's gradual change into an alien environment and would be worth studying, but there is definitely a risk to our craft. So let's study it, get the research. So our aircraft suffered some damage, but we got 125 research. Aircraft damage, I don't think it really matters in this game. If I would have activated the DLC, and maybe in a future campaign we will do that, there is a DLC where you get some sort of an alien ship that goes around and you attack it, and I'm guessing there are multiple events. Maybe we will do that. I decided to go against it because it seems like it's some sort of a time pressure to, to do certain things. Well, the problem... They are well defended, but the problem we have now is that I don't think we have enough time to go to it. Let's see. With this one, if I wanted to go here... Yeah, the attack would be over by the time we get there. Let's trade, trade some tech for, yeah, definitely a better price. We'll go here, we'll just explore for a while. No hostile forces have been detected, search the area, we found 450 materials and some tech. Rescue independent soldiers. Have another base activated. Let's move to the north here. How are they doing on this side? It seems like they are winning. Yeah. Or... I think I'm just gonna take Tiamat 4 and bring it over here. It's not gonna make it to that battle, but we're gonna bring it to guard North and South America. Does this priest have all the armor it needs? Because I don't remember for sure. Let's see. Yes, it has. Disciples of a new rifle. Let's get it some ammo. We could also add it a sniper rifle. Which could turn out to be very useful. 19 willpower. It's actually pretty good. Best addition to our A team. Okay, let's bring you up here. Too much craft management for right now, but... We should be getting closer here too. Yeah, one day and six hours. What is this? Area scan will now detect Pandoran colonies once we destroy a Pandoran citadel. New personnel, new recruits. A sniper that's a strong man, don't care. This might be good as a Berserker, but I think we have enough. Yeah, we're good. Let's send... you... to the Tiamat. And then we're going to either scavenge this vehicle... or do something. You know what I should do with the A-Team? I should bring it over here. Let's see. Manticore 1 has landed to an ab abandoned military base. The site is not on the old maps and databases. It looks like it used to be a train and developed some sort of special operation unit dedicated to fighting invaders. Got some materials, got some tech. Great. Keep going. We'll go up here. Satellite uplinks constructed in one of the new Jerichos. The reshaping of animals. The Tiamat Free has encountered what at first appears to be annual religious processions, but it is in fact a scientific expedition. 
We have come to seek understanding of the divine principle that guides the reshaping of animals. The anagnostics leading the expedition tell our operatives to understand why Claw replaces hand, why I become stock. It is only one step in a long road, of course, but how else we will reach enlightenment? Sabotage the expedition, let's assist them. New Jericho lost some reputation with us, but we got some research in the process. And they like us. The Exalted has taught us that we cannot achieve anything that truly really matters without cooperation, he says. We need each other to survive and all our understanding is built on the accomplishment of others. There is no other path to enlightenment. Therefore, let us share this knowledge together. Right? Which this one brings us closer to finishing the temple. Our operations have set down near the abandoned farm. A quick search of the house and the surrounding reveals that the place has been picked clean. There's a lot of flies around, some of them bigger than a human thumb. Our team is taking precautions. There's a large ban barn around 200 meters from the main building on the property. It might be worth investing. Let's search it. So our soldiers lost some stamina. But we got some text and some materials. And at this point everything is useful, I would say. And I also feel like I should start by activating this base. They already have a medical bay. There we go. It is infested, so this one would require a mission to clean it out. But that is exactly what we need. I think they've defeated the invaders, right? Yes. And to give us somewhere enough time, like we could even save Helena. But I feel like that is more of a Phoenix Point kind of mission. We've been ambushed, great. Let's take care of this. Hmm. Sweet coffee. Technicians are advanced New Jericho soldiers that use neurally controlled arms to repair, heal or stun. They are deployed and control automated... Oh, we're being... Who is ambushing? Are these like the New Jericho or what? Or are these the androids? Personal defense weapons are sm small submachine gun weapon that can shoot bursts for 1 AP. They are agile weapons but usually with low damage. Let's take a quick look here. Okay, they are the pure. And we have two heavies there and a technician here. I see no other enemy right now. And we have no idea where the exit might be. It's probably here. Just by looking around, it's either there or it's here. But feels like it's most likely there. Okay. I can make a difference. So how do we make it in such a way that we're gonna cause the most amount of damage in one turn? I'm here. Going inside the building seems like the right path. Probably bringing the entire team here, forcing them to get very close to us. Let's do that. I'll bring the Berserker here. I'm just gonna bring you around this area and we're gonna ask you to overwatch. My turn. Let's make this happen. We'll have the Sniper overwatch as well. Let's do this. With these people, we're just gonna do an overwatch like so, right? It's something small. But what I am hoping is that we will do a lot of damage by them moving very dumbly. It might not pay off, but we're trying. Anything that moves, dies. 
This is another Berserker, I'm gonna bring her inside the building as well. And with Annie, which is the one who could do some mind control, but I don't think that she has the potential to do it, we're just gonna do an overwatch like this. And let's see. Okay. So he has done something I didn't think he would do, but it's very smart. That is very smart as a tactic. He went through the wall and now we're shooting at him as he's behind cover. Which is once again very unfortunate. Okay, he's pretty much a tank from what I can see. And we got fire damage. Wow, look at that. Look at that range. That is a lot of damage. It hurt his arm. Now, what do I do here? A pure heavy, just disable its head. Okay. On one side, he was not that tough. Who's best? She can cause a lot of bleeding, but he seems to have like armor piercing attacks, right? So if I bring you here, I should have at least a character who can give away some points. Apparently I do not. So I rush there without too much of a plan. Okay. My head. I can't breathe. Five by five. Taking aim. That is a lot of damage close quarters. Still alive. Okay, you can still move, so I can bring you like this. Because I wanna bring her here. I could take you out or I could damage you. I feel like taking you out is better as an idea. Hmm. Take cover here please. Let's go into this kind of... Shooting and what else are we going to do here? Just get very close to it. I feel like that is such a bad idea. I mean, could be a good idea, but... Mm. They're super risky. We are already in a very risky situation. Let's show them what we can do. Let's bring you here, just so you can provide at least some will points. No choice but to keep going. I'm just gonna retreat this person, and I'm gonna ask it. I'm gonna ask you to heal it. Okay, still on fire, so fire seems to be very dangerous. Okay. Good luck to us. We will need it. Okay. He, he put down a turret. We have the ability to shoot back at least. And it costed it some points to do that. And once again, that weapon really bad for us. Our sniper... Can't fire anymore. Yeah. Took out its arms and everything. Take down the turret. Take down the heavy. Let's take down the heavy. With the flamethrower here. We caused some damage, but it wasn't enough. Good. He disabled its head there. Shot number two. Hmm. 
Berserker, you could get very close there. Let's see. Let's make sure we take you out first. There we go. So that's shot number one. We could get this flamethrower and fire at the enemy. We don't have enough action points, but maybe that is the right idea to go for. Berserker number two. I'm just gonna bring you around as well. Just so I can have an opportunity to, to shoot. Or maybe even attract some damage. Now where are we at? You can run far away, but you can't do much else. Please come here. Because I will want to heal you. Are you okay? Okay, the fire seems to be spreading, so we'll have to pay attention to that. You are on fire, you'll be taking some damage. Let me bring you somewhere back here and hopefully we'll have a chance next turn to heal you. Whew. This is nerve-wracking to be honest. As I know there will be more people coming in. Oof. We might lose this Berserker right here. This is an Infiltrator. Yeah. Lost one of them there. Let's get a flank on it. That's very little damage. Let me get you very close here. And I'm just gonna heal the sniper. Where are we at? The evacuation point is back here. Now I could go through the fire or I could go through here. But the fire is a very seems like a very bad idea. But going through that enemy is not a good idea either. Okay, I I'm going to risk it here. Okay, you don't take as much damage as you would the first time, like when you're getting the first flames. The Let's get you out. Take our losses and go, pretty much. Let's do this. this one is still okay. Let's see, can I do any kind of damage that would matter? No. We're just hitting the shield. Okay. So the infiltrator is using some skills. But we're good. a lot of damage there. Let's see, how far can you reach? Okay. You? Can I... I cannot evacuate you yet, but we're gonna try to get... No, I can! I'm on my way. Good. Repositioning, prioritizing speed. Okay, I can evacuate you as well. Let's get here. I'm just gonna do... Oh, we don't have enough action points for that. Okay. 
Sniper. Sniper, you are in panic. Okay. Guess I'll have to bring you here. They are so easily killable. If we had a few more chances to do things, that would have been great. I have to support it with our priest here, just to bring her back. Ooh, a pure sniper. These ones are going to hurt, like if he gets a shot on us. I, th I think that the pure should have like certain base or something. Okay, you go there. You will have to move out as well. Can't leave you around. Let me heal you up. Good. And let's keep going here. Okay, we can evacuate you as well, so let's do that. Maybe I shouldn't have used the healing potion. I'm, here. I'm just trying to support the sniper so we can hopefully try to evacuate her. Already lost the berserker, so... And the sniper also has rockets, which is very bad for the survivability of that sniper. She can't move because she has no legs. That's the problem here. She, her legs are out, her body is out. We're just gonna lose two people here. And it's a really good sniper at that. It's very unfortunate, but I guess this time they have us. We were unprepared for that ambush. I didn't play it. I didn't think or looked at that kind of flamethrower. So there's nothing more that we could do. Injuries are bad, I feel really bad that I have to leave her behind, but I don't have any other choice. Okay. Please do not kill... Okay. Let's see, where will be... Where will we be at? We have lost our priest. Well, there goes a good portion of our team. Just when I thought that we had things going for us and everything was okay, we got this ambush and they really did a number on our A on one of our A teams, I guess. This is probably the B team with the two berserkers. And they are really squishy against the Berserkers. But that flamethrower, we got very close to it and that was probably our biggest mistake there. When tomorrow we're coming back, if we find a base for the pure, if there's something that we will see, we are going to attack it and we're gonna take them out. But that will have to happen in the next episode. Which will be tomorrow. I know this comes out on a Sunday, but I do not have time to record another one. So let me gather my tears from the people I've lost and we'll be seeing each other again. Until then, thank you very much for watching and I wish you all have a wonderful day.